Hi, I'm Alex McRickard. This is the Small Impoundment Fishing Report for the month of May in Virginia. May really is a great time to get out and fish a local pond near you or even a small lake. Uh, impoundments are fishing really well during this time of the year as, as air temperatures and water temperatures are rising. A lot of our freshwater fish are getting very active. May also coincides with the spawning season for a lot of our freshwater fish. Our sunfishes, like our, our red ear sunfish and our, our bluegill that are quite prevalent across the state, can often be found spawning during this time of the year. You can see these fish along the edges of uh, ponds and, and lakes. Uh, oftentimes in a little bit of gravel or, or light mud, silty substrate, they'll make um, small beds. You can oftentimes see them spawning and, and paired up. Can make for some really exciting light tackle fishing. Um, also, our largemouth bass are, are typically spawning during this time of the year, and they'll really spawn through the beginning of the, of the month of June. Once water temperatures get, get into the low 60s, we start to get largemouth bass um, spawning really through water temperatures into the mid to upper 70s. When you're fishing these small impoundments, it's really important to think about the habitat that the fish are going to be in. So when you're targeting your efforts, you're focusing on the right areas. Whether you're fishing for sunfish or whether you're fishing for largemouth bass or maybe a uh, black or white crappie or chain pickerel, all these fish tend to be structure oriented. So you really wanna be thinking about uh, woody debris that's down in the water, log jams, stumps, uh, anywhere where you have overhanging uh, tree limbs providing a little bit of shade can be really good. Um, anywhere where there's a drop off um, where those fish can kind of hold along that and orient to that structure that way. You can also fish soft structure too, whether you're fishing up against uh, lily pads or, or submerged aquatic vegetation or underwater grass beds. These fish are looking for that structure and will orient to that structure. Fishing topwater lures and flies can be really fun during the month of May as uh, air temperatures and water temperatures continue to increase. The tiny torpedo is a, a fun one to fish, especially in low light conditions. This, this blade, propeller blade on the back tends to move a lot of water. Uh, you can't go wrong fishing a pop bar either, uh, especially if you twitch it back and forth, really give it a lot of, a lot of movement. And then the jitterbug is, is a really fun one to fish that tends to really push a lot of water. Early in the morning or in the evening, you can get some explosive takes on these. If you're fishing with a fly rod, you can do really well with some larger, larger poppers. They tend to gurgle a lot of water. I like fishing dark poppers on dark cloudy days and lighter colored poppers on lighter days. Don't overlook fishing smaller size poppers for sunfish and panfish as well. If you're gonna fish subsurface, there's a variety of different lures and flies that you can use on small impoundments. Spinner baits are classic and tend to be flashy if the water's a little bit off color. You can use a crankbait if you're trying to get down to deeper depths. And then if you're really just targeting smaller panfish and even little largemouth bass, you can use a soft plastic Mr. Twister on a grub like that'll work well. If you're fishing with a fly, clouser minnow is really good. The dumbbell eyes tend to get it down and you can't go wrong with different colored woolly buggers like uh, beadhead here with this olive and, and, uh, and brown is a, is a great leech imitation. During the springtime, it can be really productive to walk along the bank of a, a lake or pond and actually try to spot fish before you cast at them. You can literally see them and then go one on one with them. A good pair of polarized lenses is really productive. Uh, it can cut against the glare and allow you to see into the water a lot better. Woo! Sometimes when you're fishing small impoundments in the springtime, it can really be to your advantage to try to walk along the edge and try to spot a fish and go one-on-one -on -one with them. This nice largemouth we saw cruising the bank. I was able to get into position and lay this large black foam cricket right in front of him on the fly rod, came right up and slurped it down. So it's really fun when you can spot a fish and go one-on-one -on -one with them. And it's just you versus the fish. It's a really fun way to, uh, let's pop that fly out. It's a really fun way to, uh, to get out and, uh, and fish fish these small impoundments, but great fish, um, you know, really give you another look here. Um, came right up and no hesitation, just slurp, slurp the fly right down. So again, it's a fun, fun time to be out uh, in the warmer weather walking along, along the bank here. Uh, this is a largemouth bass. Um, you can obviously tell by their, they have a larger, sometimes people refer to them as bucket mouths, larger mouth here than, a, um, than you would see on a smallmouth bass. Largemouth bass are going to be more prone to living in uh, lakes, ponds, or uh, slow sections of rivers above the fall line or tidal rivers. But they're really more of a still water oriented fish. They've got a dark green to sometimes black colored back. And then the other thing you'll see about the largemouth is they have a pretty distinct black line all the way down the side from their gill plate back to their tail along that lateral line there. So 
Um, anyway, uh, these fish have a, a tandem dorsal fin where you can actually see the, the front of the dorsal fin has spines leading to soft rays on the back side of the dorsal fin. And the caudal fin, or, or what we call the tail fin, is just slightly forked. Um, but uh, again, these are a really popular, uh, popular sport fish in Virginia and uh, probably one of the more, more popular uh, freshwater fish in the country. But uh, great fish, really fun being out here in Virginia targeting these guys. If you do choose to fish during the pandemic, it's essential that you do so safely and responsibly. We're asking our anglers to please practice social distancing and remember to follow CDC guidelines while you're out on the water. Also, we really want to hear from you, so please comment below. Let us know what you would like to see covered in the next fishing report, and we'll see you on the water. There he goes.